what's going on guys so we are in full prep mode for the move to wyoming oh yeah get short definitely get short so we are in about six weeks from today gonna move um out to wyoming to help half and half livestock with their yearling lease this summer um, we are super excited but we got a ton to do to get ready so we're kind of starting this series of videos right here during the prep time uh, but they'll run all the way through uh, all the things we do in wyoming so all the work we'll do um, all the events just everything that that happens this summer you'll get to see it here basically we wanted to show you kind of what prep looks like for us getting out there first things first we got to get the horses legged up and ready for all the work they're going to do out there we got three new ones coming in two geldens and then one mare that that hasn't got here yet so we're just kind of getting to know them and legging them up a little bit getting ready for uh kind of getting them on board with our program and how we do things uh, the second big project dad's got going on is getting the dogs ready so we got three dogs i think we got one more coming um, but right now at the house today we have three dogs um, cotton is a rock star he is gonna be awesome so that guy is already on the payroll um, we're just kind of keeping him legged up and then the other two hopper and queenie we'll show you them um, we're kind of getting them ready ready for the job they're going to have to do so uh we'll see we'll see what they turn into but right now they're doing good just learning their job um anyways other than that we're just getting the rope shop ready to go getting all the stuff um put together and and we'll show you the whole move so half and half cody and tori they're in ardmore as well um they'll be moving out to to Rollins a little bit before us but but it's just going to be a big group effort so with that being said uh, I got to mention my Patriot Supply guys they have come on board with us and, and sponsored our YouTube channel this year without giving you a big long explanation of who they are and what they do we're just going to integrate them into our videos uh, so you can learn who they are learn their brand and trust what the the product they bring to you um anyways i'll give you a little video of our our announcement there um in the link below if you want to watch that we can you can check it out i made a little video just to announce our partnership uh, with my patriot supply so huge thanks to them for sponsoring the videos uh, i'm about to hop down here and catch one of these geldens and kind of work them a little bit um, and then i think we're going to work some dogs see he's already up here ready to go so he came with a name his name he came with is nima i think i think that's what it is nima be his name this is jay the gray both geldens cool dudes uh not sold on nima yet so we've been kicking around a couple of names nothing nothing uh set in stone that is for sure uh, but if y'all have any suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Maybe one of you guys can give us something we can call them this summer. Uh, I will say this, so I don't know if y'all have seen half and half livestock offered horses for the first time this year on our website. And that did great. So basically each year they get a bunch of horses together, take them out to the, the deal in Wyoming and, and use them all summer long and then offer them for sale at the end of the season so that would be next fall we are going to do the same with these two guys here so um they're going to be on the payroll all summer long and then next fall we'll offer them to sale so y'all can kind of keep track of them here if you're in the market for a horse and you just kind of want to see what they're they're all about they'll be in the videos all summer long same with cody and tories uh they'll we'll ha have updates on all their horses and what they'll have to offer um, come next fall so if you're uh, in the market you'll get to see them do pretty much everything you're going to want to do with them hopefully uh, is kind of our goal so I'm going to get them caught saddled up and then we'll go to work
Okay. Very well. That was good. So, pretty much, I accidentally, when I went to flip my lead rope over his neck, I made a mistake and the wind caught it and smacked him in the ear. And then he left, which really turned out great. So, it's okay if he leaves. He just left. And so, pretty much, if he wanted to leave, I just let him leave, but kept his feet moving until he decided he wanted to be with me again. And then once we got to that point, I caught him again. So it was perfect, really. I didn't mean to do that. That was unintentional. I didn't mean to smack him on the ear. Um, and it didn't hit him hard, but it was good that he left and then chose to come back. So that's cool. It's always neat when that stuff like that happens, I guess. Maybe. Ooh, that wind is howling, son. Yeah, so pretty much the goal is, uh, I don't know if it's still recording. Yeah, we're recording. Pretty much the goal is for me and the dude here just to get to know one another. We're not climbing any mountains yet. We will be, but we're just trying to get to know one another. Once we do that, we'll start <sighs> dialing everything in, trying to anyway, best we can. But for now, that was awesome. Let's go, uh, let's go get some dog work. But now she's hiding from me. You got, you cannot climb through that window. You have to come through here. <laughs> they know what you look like. They already know, Charlie. Yes, this is. Charlie has become more peculiar the older she's gotten. It's a school day for Charlie, unfortunately. Okay, we gotta talk about the dog leash. What about it? Just what oh. it is, you gotta show it all. The dog. This is dad's brainchild. These are uh, three strand uh, wax cotton dog leads. They're 18 to 20 foot long. Um, snap is uh, attached with a uh, basically a horn knot. Um, but just on the end and then we just finish them out with a braided uh, tail which is no big deal um, but anyways they're cool they're very very water resistant um, mud water doesn't when the dogs dragging them around you're training on them um, doesn't collect a bunch of mud and water it just it just kind of knocks right off that'd be the dirtiest part of this lead and I've had these for a good long time. Give them a play-by-play -play of what you've been doing so far and kind of what we're looking like today. Well first of all I have to give a big shout out to Jason Terrell and Diamond J Stock Dogs. He's got a great set of dogs. I've got one rock star that'll make you think you're a really good dog trainer and then I've got two they are starting to uh, starting to work for me so today my plan is is for the first time i'm going to work uh all three dogs together cotton my the the one that has been such, such a pleasure to train he understands it all so he's he's going to be the the muscle behind the deal and then what i'm hoping is is that it, it's going to develop a little bit more uh of a presence for the younger dogs uh to move those cattle out and really help their confidence so we'll see it may turn out to be a wreck um it may not uh my goal is just to uh stay in the proper position and uh let the dogs work so let's go get them stay stay
Come here, Hopper. That's Queen. And that's Hopper. They're uh, they're very they're down. They got a good handle. Uh, they're just excited to get out of the trailer. They always are. Um, so that's what helps them helps them work. Is all that excitement? Let's go. Hey, there, both of you down. Stay. They get kind of excited because they love to work. Love to run and play. They're hey, just Dad. Running. Hopper. There. Down. Oh, there you go. Stay. Try to give them responsibility every chance I get. So, Dalton's already turned uh, cotton loose. And he is just bringing them to me. So, from here, I'm just going to let these two go and tell them to hunt it up. Hunt them up. And just let them do their thing. So, hunt them up. Hunt them up. Girl. Hey. Hey. Now get back. Get back. Steady. Now get back. Alright, so right here. Just gonna let them get back. Let them work. Down. There. Down. <laughs> Stay. There. Down. Well, that was a change. We've been working hard. Back. Get the dogs. There. Down. Down. Now come by. Now come by. Steady. Get back. Again. Hey. Hey. Steady. Hey. Oh. Doo doo. At least you're wearing the camera. <laughs> there. Down. Water. Water. 
Good dogs. Water. Water, 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 water. Good dogs. Water. Good girl. Water. back there down down stay yeah no I, I was super proud of the way those dogs worked the way they worked together it 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 uh definitely fast and furious but we'll slow all that down um in the two younger dogs the black and white dog and the other merle um just trying to build a lot of want to in them and I'm seeing that uh, I'm super excited about it um, so we're just gonna stay consistent and go back out there and do it again tomorrow and start kind of you know tomorrow will probably look the same uh, my goal is to as we go take those 30 minute sessions and start kind of refining them um, slowing them down a little bit uh, getting them to where they're not quite so out of control I don't mind that right now because what we need is want to uh, so anyways Diamond J stock dogs uh, some of the best dogs on the on the planet